Let's look at a product that many of us consume on a regular basis. We'll try to identify what factors influence our decision to buy a quantity of that good. I look for a certain level of quality. Uh, to me, I would buy what I want to buy and not let money influence that. A brand of a good brand is obviously would be my choice, and uh, um, one would always go to go for the tend to go with the most popular brand. Taste, uh, price doesn't bother me. If I want something specific and a certain brand or name, I'll rather buy it, even if it's double as much as a, the, the cheaper one. I definitely prefer something that tastes good and of good quality, uh, as opposed to the price. Really, I'd rather spend a bit more. To a large degree, quality does count. It's taste and affordability. That's just it. Taste and affordability. Sometimes, sometimes, if I really, really want it, I'll pay that extra, depending on the brand. And sometimes, if I'm having a broke month, I'll take the cheapest one. Yes. Uh, no, it's definitely taste. I mean, oh, you know, no, you I have to consider the quality of the product for your own health and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I think definitely taste and quality, yeah. My taste influences what I buy completely. I don't buy anything that I don't like. I only buy things that I do like. I'll just ignore the rest. Price influences it sometimes when I don't have money, but I still won't buy things that I don't like. I will try and save until I get what I want. Definitely taste does influence what I buy too. From this, we can see that our tastes, our preferences, influence our decisions and our demand for any particular product. One day, we might decide this choice isn't very healthy, and that might change this preference, leading us to buy less fried chicken but not today. This is also why businesses spend so much money on advertising. They want to influence our tastes and preferences. We will use the symbol T to denote tastes and preferences. Would you eat out more often if you could? Um, I would go probably once in a blue moon, once after two months, once after, once after a month or so. Yeah. Battle to cook myself, so I eat a lot of takeaways, trying to change that. Because people don't like spending a lot of money on food. It's too expensive. Just for a plate of food, it's like almost like a hundred rand. I, I can't afford to go out to enjoy myself, huh? because the money is little. I mean, judging from the fact that, like, not more than two years ago, I used to pay nine rand ninety-eight for Streetwise One. Now it's like what sixteen rand. That's quite heavy for just two years. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's quite tough. It's quite rough. No, not at all. With this money, I earn yours too. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, once, uh, uh, once just to spoil myself. But I mean, you're working, uh, you earn, um, you get your salary today, tomorrow there's nothing. No, 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 no. It's difficult now. It used to be okay before, but now uh, very difficult. Obviously, income is an important factor determining the quantity demanded, or QD particularly for students. If they had more income, they'd probably buy more. The symbol Y is used to denote income. And what about prices? I would say that uh, prices affect the amount that would spend on purchases in general. Um, looking at the electricity, for example, with the price hike, I, I still need to buy electricity, obviously, but I'm, I'm, definitely, looking, I'm definitely buying fewer coupons as, as possible because I'm trying to cut